if one thinks they are about to get fired, do you think one should just wait or go ahead and quit yourself? Yeah. So I, I would quit if you have another job lined up and always have a plan B when you work for somebody else, please. Uh, take every networking meeting you can or, or, or headhunter meeting, please, please, please. Always have a plan B just in case, just in case. Uh, but if you think you're about to be let go, um, then I would aggressively uh, network even more than you usually do. And you can use the concepts in, in my, my free networking book uh, to, to, to do that uh, and get that job because it's, it's, it's actually, it's easier for you to get a job when you have a job, obviously, than when you don't have one. It's not the end of the world if you've been fired, happened to me before. Um, and, um, but, but if you have a job and you feel like you're about to be fired, then yeah, do whatever you can to leave and get another job quickly. If you can do it, if you can do it, okay? Um, it, it sucks, it sucks. But usually the writing's on the wall. You usually kind of know uh, if you're about to be fired. Uh, and, and here's a, a tip on how to make sure that you never get surprised with being fired. Every three months, meet with your manager and ask her or him for just general feedback. How am I doing? How am I doing? Uh, and um, you know, ask questions like, how, what can I do to add even more value to our team? And they'll tell you, they'll tell you. And you can even ask, what do I need to accomplish in order to you know, get promoted or, or, or get a raise just because you know, raising a family in this area is tough. Um, and they'll tell you. And once you fulfill that criteria, then in your meeting with them every three months, you can say, I've fulfilled all the criteria you've asked. Um, I love being a part of this team. Um, do you think, is there a chance I can get promoted or, or raised, please, just because I, I, I fulfilled all this stuff. And only, only do that meeting with your manager when they're in a good day. It's kind of like asking mom and dad for something um, when, when they're in a good mood. You know, the, the more, more likely than not say yes, you, you get it, you get it, yeah. Uh, but, it, but if you think you're about to be fired, um, then um, do whatever you can, please, to get another job. Um, and I remember it, I, I, when I used to work at Goldman, there would always be rumors from human resources about a round of layoffs. And it was, it was tough when I was there. I mean, it was, I never got let go from there. I got let go from another company. Um, but there was always rumors and the rumors were always true. And sometimes I feel like, and I'm not saying that this is what Goldman Sachs does, but sometimes I feel like human resources people are really cool. And what they do is they intentionally let it leak that a round of layoffs is coming. And they do that just because it's, it's, I don't know, it's, it, it kind of helps people that think that they're at risk leave on their own terms. Yeah, and also, it's, it's so hard to keep a great secret like that. I shouldn't say great secret, but a lot of people have friends in HR and it, and it just leaks out over a couple beers and it spreads like wildfire, um, which I think is a good thing. So uh, if, if you hear a rumor, you know, where, where there's smoke, there's fire usually in, in big companies when you hear about, about layoffs. And if you work at a big publicly traded company and your company just massively missed earnings uh, for in a quarter um, and they've missed a couple times, then you know that Wall Street is upset and that there might be a round of layoffs because that will make earnings go up if you get rid of people, which is ridiculous um, because I'm very long-term focused. but. Unfortunately, the whole world now, when it comes to investing, is short-term focused.